Welcome, this is Stephanie with Growing from the Woodpile and today I am going to plant garlic. Now, I don't know if I believe my nursery guy when I said I probably think I should only plant soft neck and he's like, no, you can plant hard neck. This garden kitty, she wants to come check what's going on here. Hmm. So I didn't get a whole bunch of these well, one, they only came with two bulbs in it, th this hard neck. Um, and then this was the other hard neck that I got. There's two of those. But the soft neck right here, um, there's six of those. So I am going to plant garlic and onions today. And this is one of those I should have done more research. And I didn't. So I don't know if these are part day, full day, half day, when I started doing my research after I got it. And, you know, I watched um, Epic Gardener and he's like, worst case, you get green onion. And I can still use the green onion and I want to experiment. And I think in my late research was, I think the garlic I was supposed to free, put in the refrigerator for six weeks. So I didn't, I don't have time, it's October. I need to get them in the ground. So in my late night female brain can't think or sleep at 2 a.m. I'm like, where am I gonna plant these? They're gonna take all the way till the end of May and my space and I can plant in February. So what I've decided is I'm gonna plant the garlic and the onions in these tubs here. Um, I, <laughs> my dead pepper tubs, <laughs> it makes me sad. Okay, focus. Um, especially these fabric bags that I've had some issues with. Um, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna plant in the tubs. And then I will plant some over here. It's kind of morning still, so sorry about the darkness. I did plant a tomato there. I do wanna clean up all this old mess um, here, even though that there might be a few, few melons back there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Zoom in, there's one hanging right there. Um, I, I need to sacrifice them to get them in. Did I plant carrots? This is a black bed that I got from, zoom out, from Harbor, not Harbor Freight, from Tractor Supply. I really liked it. It did great. Um, these are the, the gray, I say tubs, but fabric beds that I, I made. But I'm going to go ahead and pull these all out, get garlic and onions in these also. And then I may, since there's so many of them, um, plant some garlic and onions over here in um, the pepper bed on the back side and then just sneak them in one or two throughout. Um, see this sad good pepper bed in front, not so good pepper bed in back. I did uh, feed them yesterday with some fish emulsion. Hopefully it will stimulate new growth. but little finch bird that keeps coming down and maybe sneak some fruit onions in here I really decided I didn't want to sneak onions in a lot in like this bed because this is usually I need to plant peas in this bed um, and I don't want the onions to stop them I guess um, get so high that when I plant my seed in the spring they don't come up so I'm not gonna plant any in there um, I may sneak like one or two in here. I don't know, all this basil. What are we gonna do with all this basil? But I'm gonna get on to planting. It's supposed to warm up today. Need to finish some cleanup. But I will I will come back and give a little research input that I did with growing onions. Um, from the best of what I've researched, when I start getting them planted, I just need to do some cleanup first. Getting ready to plant onions. And I made these fabric beds last year. And I filled the bottom up with uh, eucalyptus tree leaves and sticks and lots of um, material that should have broke down. And I overfilled them in anticipation of them breaking down. And um, they're a little too full. So, 
I am going to take this mulch off and kind of some of this top layer of dirt. Oh, I don't have my shovel. Because after I put these onions in, I want to put a layer of compost. the drip real quick. Maybe I'll just mix in some compost in with this dirt and then pour it back on top. I just, I'm surprised that it hasn't broke down more. Um, it's okay. We learn as we go. Did get a little frustrated yesterday. I just I know I'm not here all during the summer to tend my garden, and summer is the hardest time to tend. It's just very sad about the status of my peppers. You know, you work so hard to get a good crop of peppers, and I just don't think I am. But limited time, need more knowledge, and this bed is borderline almost too wet. So probably going to need to turn down the amount of time that the drip is on. I, if you watched any of my other videos, I got to do another line of drip to just the fabric beds to the rest of the garden. And yes, if you have time in a perfect world, you should water your garden by hand because each plant has different watering needs. But Ain't nobody got time for that. So. Alright. Not where I want to be. Now. Remember I do all my research. From YouTube. So. I am. Next year. In a perfect world. I will plant. Onions by seed. Start them in the house. But. It's not a perfect world. And I had to go buy bulbs and then come to find out I should have just bought. They had some starts, but they really looked so bad and then did my research about it. So I went ahead and got these at the nursery. This is a red onion. I'm gonna have to do more research. Again, I don't know if it's full, you know, the research I did, if it was uh, short, long, but it says recommended for zones six through nine. Um, so maybe that means it's a, uh, oh, I can't remember the term. Um, watch growing in the garden. Um, she talks about short day, long day, and full day. And I think we need short day. I don't remember, I don't remember. All right, it says, I think to plant four inches apart. So I'm gonna open up my little bag here and um, probably don't need a doubler, but, you know, I actually found it, and so, I, I'm probably planting them closer than I should, it said four inches, I don't know, I watched this thing on, on, uh, Epic Gardener once where it's two and two inches is four, I don't know, he did crazy math, but you can plant things closer than you can. It was back when he lived in, I think, like a townhouse and he had very limited space. So you want to plant the root of the onion down and you barely just want it to come out. So let's get a couple more in. He also said to fill them as you go because you don't want, you know, you don't want them. Um, Plant a bad one. I'm kind of in my own sun. No, so. But when you watch, if you watch the growing in the garden, she is based in, I think, the town I live in. Uh, one of these days. One of these days, maybe I'll take, I think she has classes. I should really take a class. I also kind of really want to take the Master Gardener class um, from the state of Arizona. Probably wouldn't be a bad thing. Maybe I'll be less, you know, just if I get out of the way more, 
less frustrated with my growing problems if I had more knowledge to have less problems. But, um, she had lots of helpful hints that I'm not doing. So probably, you know, part of the frustration of things not growing is my lack of doing things correctly. And, uh, you know, I, I should test the pH level of my, of my soil. I think it says you need an acidic soil. So I don't know if I have an acidic soil. I know I tried to amend the potatoes once that I tried to grow and failed. And, um, yeah, it didn't. Oh, and, um, you know, I wonder if in the notes of her, her thing, if it said where you could get it tested. I'm sure there's lots of places. I dropped it in and there it is. But the so I'm planting all these like this and then I want to go back and um, do some compost on top and then cover them and he you just barely barely put them in so remember the root goes down so these are all the red. I probably should have uh, planted a mixture. Mm, yeah, that would have been smart to plant the mixture. Probably overplanted. Okay. So I'm going to go get some compost in this dirt that I just took out and then just do a fine label, fine layer over it. My compost. Dry. Just fine because I gotta water these in anyways. down a little bit into the dirt that I took off. Got some of the resisting topsoil dirt. Okay. I think we're pretty well covered. Oh, need to put the drip back in. Yeah. Probably put some dirt over the drip too. Um, not that it's super hot right now, but when it is super hot, I'm going to bring this in about here, bring it over here. Um, but growing in the garden, I think, her, what is her name? She uses this grid system that is expensive and one day I will get her grid system. It's not her system, but she recommends it from some company. Anyways, it is a beautiful looking system that sprays in this little grid. Um, and, but I noticed like all my dirt was wet, even though it's just a drip. It was not wet at the very, very edges, but most everything was wet. So now, I'm gonna label it. And these were just says red, red, red. Own 
onion. Red onion. And I'm gonna move all my stuff so I don't get it wet. I've done that before. I'll just do a light watering. Just wanna make sure that compost is not well spent a good part of the morning and got all of the onions and garlic in these bags i left this one empty on purpose i wanted to plant some uh, daikon radishes and i forget that went through and did a bunch of bulbs in these and i have limited deep bed space because all the other wood beds are only eight inches. So I did purposely leave that one for some daikon radishes. Um, I'll just plant the little baby halflinger carrots in the beds. But everything went well. Um, I'll keep, keep going on. I do have a few more onions left and I may just purposely go in and plant them in the wood beds, but that is it for today. It is hot. I'm going inside. You know, I didn't do my full research, so on the garlic, I might just be getting, um, you know, green garlic escapes, but that's okay. I learned next year, get them six weeks early, put them in the freezer. Watch Garden Scott. He has a good, I think, hour and a half um, talk on, on growing garlic, which I should have watched, but sometimes you do what you got to do. Thank you for learning and growing with the woodpile. You know, I didn't do my full research, so on the garlic I might just be getting, um, you know, green garlic escapes, but that's okay. I learned next year, get them six weeks early, put them in the freezer. Watch Garden Scott, he has a good, I think, hour and a half um, talk on, on growing garlic, which I should have watched, but Sometimes you do what you got to do. Thank you for learning and growing with the woodpile.